So today we're going to look at the web page called uh, Processing and Selection and going on to a new topic, Operator Precedence. So I'd like you to go to the homepage, andozen.net, click on the schedule, and now these links will take you to the schedule for CSER 120, and they're all going to the same page, which is this one. Now, currently we're working on this web page, Processing and Selection, which continues into the third week, first class. And if you click on this link, um, uh, previously we've talked about arithmetic, uh, relational and logical expressions. <coughs> we've mentioned the, we've, we've shown the basics of the selection statement, if. Um, today I want to talk about operator precedence, and this is is following the logical operators. If you go down um, through the page, yesterday we talked about um, logical operators, relato relational operators, talked about the AND operator, three operators, logical operators, AND, OR, and NOT. And you can see the truth tables for those operators here. And those were all explained in the last movie. So in this movie, I want to talk about the precedence rules. So what does it mean, precedence? Precedence is essentially talking about the order that the operations are performed in a mixed expression. The easiest way to explain this is to use Python. So open up a, a Python shell using Python idle. And let's let's create a test file. So let's create a new file and let's call it file save us. Let's call it test three. I don't think I've got a file called test three. So I'm going to call it test three dot py. If you forget to put the dot py it will be placed there anyway. So save this. So let's print a math expression. Let's have uh, 2 plus 3. Now, there's my math expression, 2 plus 3. Obviously, the answer is 5. Let's save this and run. And you can see that the result is 5. And there is the result. And there is the code. Maybe I'll put it the other way around. There we go. So there is your program, and when it runs, it looks like this in the Python shell. Let's close the Python shell, and let's write something else. So let's write print 2 plus 3 multiplied by 4. Now in an expression like this, this is a mixed expression. You've got a multiplication here, you've got an addition here. So is Python going to do this first and then do this part? Or is Python going to do this part first and then add the two? Well, that depends on the precedence rules. <coughs> now, if you look at the precedence rules, here we have multiplications which are done before plus and minus. So if you've got an expression with a multiply and a plus, the multiply will be done first and then the plus. So the first operations are the ones at the top. So you'd have exponentiation would be done before you add, for example. So let's try something. Let's try running this one. So according to this, the highest precedence will be the multiply, and then it will do the addition. So I'm expecting now that this will be done first. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. Let's see what happens. And there it is, 14. So multiplications are done before additions and subtractions. And let's try exponentiation next. Let's try uh, an expression which has an exponent. Print. 2 plus 10 to the power of 2. 
Now, according to this, exponentiation is done before we have additions. So these at the top are done first. The lowest precedence is logical uh, operator or. So what does that mean with this? It means that is it going to do 2 plus 10 is 20 and 20 to the power of 2? No. What's going to happen is exponentiation is done first. So 10 to the power of 2 is 100. 100 plus 2 is 102. This is done first. Exponentiation is done before addition. So we are expecting 102 here. So when it runs, and there you go, 102. So what if we have, uh, let's try making it a little bit longer, this expression. We'll, we'll also have a multiply. So let's copy this line, copy, and paste it here. And then let's multiply by... So what's going to happen here? So we know that this will be done before the add, but here multiplications are shown to be uh, executed before the plus. So if we look back at this expression, let's just delete the old shell. So with this expression, this will be done first. So this now is 100. Then the multiplication will be done next. So this is 100 times 3, which is 300, plus 2, which is 302. Let's run. 302. So the order that the expression, this is a math expression, the order that the expression is evaluated depends on the operators. Now, if you have an exponentiation in your expression, that is done before you multiply, which is done before you add. Now, you can always <clears throat> make a change to your order of precedence. You can make a change to the order that the expression is evaluated if you include brackets. Anything in brackets or parentheses are done first. So let's let's see what happens here if I do a few changes. So I'll copy this line and paste. So maybe I want to have 12 to the power of 2. I can, if I want this to be evaluated first, then I can put brackets around the 2 plus 10. This will make 2 plus 10 is 12. Then 12 to the power of 2 is 144. 144 times 3. Hmm. Let's just run that on the calculator. 144 multiplied by 3 is... 432, 432. So let's see what happens. I'll close the old shell and run, run. And there it is, 432. So be aware of, in mixed expressions, that the operators will tell you the order that the expression will be evaluated. Brackets, anything in brackets is always done first, followed by exponentiation, followed by the unit operators, so this will just convert a value to negative or to positive, followed by the operators multiply, divide, modulus, and integer division, followed by plus and minus the relational operators and the logical operators not and and or. Now, if you're looking at the logical operators, not and and or, the not will be done first, then the and, and then the or. And you can test that in an expression. Let's try an expression here. 
So let's say print. And let's say hmm, not for let's say not not false and so not false will give you true and let's have true so what will happen in this one is this is done first because not is done before and so not false will give you a value of true and then true and true will give you a value of true so the result of this expression is true so let's run and there it is true so we'll finish at that point for this movie and the next movie i'm going to talk about the selection statement if using the uh, l if part